Once again, Ember could feel eyes watching. Ember approached the forlorn. It felt it was different. They said, I know what I need to do. What I need to feel. I'm just... I don't want to be helped. Ember could not help. Not all problems were puzzles to be solved. Ember uncovered a journal entry. Dusk brings the longest shadows. The lanthorn comforts me. Soft melodies from home. The wild things listen. Yellow eyes and graying trees. we are. I've been walking forever, lost in the marsh. The two travellers were talking quietly. Yeah, I got so lost in the marsh, you know. Why go anywhere else if it's safe here? Yeah. Never having to worry again. The birds scare me though. The guards squawked. Stand back, don't come any closer. The guard was protecting a path down between the rocks. Nothing down there but sadness and turning forlorn. Go see the Forest King. He'll set you straight. The Forest King showed me the way. You see, there's no need to keep going. He'll make a bird of you. Go get your feathers. Crossroads gate was locked. The guard joked, another scrawny ember from the forest. And with a bag looking all nicely and shiny, both guards started looking at ember with a deathly stare. Guard leered. The forest king would like you, little scruff. Yes, come a little closer. Let us see what's in that bag. We guard the door to the forest king. 
Oh yes, we decide who gets to see the king. The forest king will want to see you. Yes, yes, come this way. A feeling of foreboding overcame Ember. Ember was terrified, but tried not to show it. The giant's bird spoke softly. Another little Ember. Speak, little one. Do not fear. The bird is a friend. Ember wanted to feel safe. Oh, little Ember, birds won't hurt you. Birds will take another under our wing. Stay safe in the nest, you'll never turn forlorn. Ember was still afraid. Is it the night that scares you, little one? See? Night is gone. Day is here. Birds will make the world less frightening. It wasn't only the night that frightened Ember. The bird was disappointed. Stay? No need to help, silly forlorn. Hope is false. Hope hurts little ones in the end. The forest king spoke so gently to Ember. Perhaps they could rest here for a while. It was hard to know what else to say. Clever little Ember, you will stay. You will not turn forlorn. Search for hope no more. Now take this feather. Feather means Ember is one of us now. Birds keep little ones safe. Birds should never leave the nest. The guards seem pleased. Clever scruff sticking with us. I can hold that bag for you. Leave him alone, they're one of us now. Yeah, one of us. And we all share bags and things. The guard squawked. Stand back, don't come any closer. Nothing down there but sadness and turning forlorn. Go see the Forest King. He'll set you straight. Got your first feather, I see. Best prove yourself, Scruff. Stand watch here. Promise you won't let anyone pass. (laughs) 
Amber didn't like deceiving the birds. But what choice did they have? They couldn't rest in that place forever. Hidden away was a scrap of journal. There were memories here, bound in rock. I hear their voices echo in the ancient stone. I find footprints by the cinders, a makeshift camp. This forlorn was not the same as the others. The forlorn whispered softly, I know what I need, but I am not ready. I may never be ready. The future is yours, stranger. But mine is mine. Ember left the forlorn with their thoughts. The time wasn't right, perhaps would never be. Ember hurried away from the birds. The mist hung close to Ember, hiding them. The forest king seemed frightened, the birds cruel. Ember would rather risk turning forlorn than become like them. Ahead there would be others to help, and maybe a way to move on. The traveller seemed distressed. I'm sure it's fine. They'd be okay. But it's been a while since... It's my fault. It looked like a map, but pieces were... The piece formed a new route. It was the same place as before, but how? In a haze they said, you're just like me now. Going round and round and round and... Never escaping. An eerie scene, like a moment frozen in time. Ember found a scrap of journal. I heard them coming. The snap of a twig, a flutter of birds. A figure dashing through the undergrowth. Another like me?
Hidden inside was the Wanderer's journal. Another face at last. A catcher of fish resting by a pond. We work together, silk and tar and aching fingers. My boat floats once more, though I almost wish to stay. section of bridge had somehow been ripped from its foundations. The fog was so blinding, Ember was turned around. The fog was so blinding, Ember was turned around. Gradually more of the map was revealed. The fog was so blinding, Ember was turned around. It was like the map had been broken on purpose.
The mist revealed a secret place. Was it hidden on purpose? stranger spoke. You know, part of me didn't want to be found. I said some things I shouldn't have. And now I'm lost, and it's too late. The skeleton looked peaceful. Held tightly in its hand was a red feather. The statue spoke, just as it once moved the hearts of the forlorn. The instrument you now hold has the power to move the world around you. Another before you took great effort to hide it deep within this riddle. Inside was a secret diary entry. Pink, orange, red, brown, leaves gently dancing to the ground. Crunch, crackle, lovely sound, fall into a giant mound.
lost message was inside. The mist is thick. One way blurs into another. Where do I end? Where does the world begin? I cannot see far enough to tell. There was one last place to reach on the map. Thank you.